Here's one of the life drawing uh, practices I wanted to get back into. I have a whole bunch of photos of me when I was little. This is my cool bicycle. And I absolutely, I hated the color, but I loved riding my bicycle. And yes, I'm in a 1980s doofy sweater. Super doofy. I'm gonna start um, basically with the head height. So the height of my actual child-sized head eh, and then try and multiply that until I reach my toes and that's that's basically how tall the figure should be. Um, the bicycle on the other hand the wheel comes down quite a ways past my toes. So that's something I'll have to account for. Um, my grandma would always cut and glue extra pictures and layer them in photo books so she could get all the photos in. I think she had a superstition about throwing away photos that it would somehow wreck somebody. Um, <clears throat> but you're just, just going to start with the, the head height and work on the basic um, body bulk of what's there. So kind of a square top and then where the legs would come down is kind of tubes and uh, arms shoulder width and make sure I have enough room to go past the toes to get that full front wheel in. I end up redoing this front wheel several times I think about four as well as feet and hands. I'm always practicing on feet and hands. I could seem to get the pant legs and the, the fabric okay. Um, I must have practiced that quite a lot in the past. I could do fabric folds decently and it's not hard anymore. Um, but I do redo these shoes. They look um, pretty bricky and unevenly shaped. They're, they're like not evenly one foot's fatter than the other. Okay, so um, the hands, I always try and focus on once I figure out the height and width of a figure and where the arms and legs are, I definitely focus on making hands and fingers look better. And I, I touch these up quite a bit later, redo uh, a couple of the fingers in the palm. I remember this uh, bicycle having these really tall kind of gorilla bars that you'd normally see on a motorcycle, those really tall handlebars. But the, uh, obviously when I was a little kid, they, they seemed much taller than what they really are. This front wheel, I redo this again. It is terrible. I have to kind of visually understand the bicycle wheel is turning, but then there's these round and malleable metal bars all around and then there's the gear protective plastic um, plate which actually bulges out on the same side that the wheel is turned to so that that's kind of where you need to do a basic overall shape for inanimate objects so objects that are not people and animals is kind of box out that shape and then decide you know Kind of splitting it in halves or quarters and figure out where things are actually supposed to go. So the the shape of the head, the jawline especially, is something that um, needs to match. Um, you would put a big square jaw on a little skinny kid. So there's there's these things. So I have to get the jawline right, and it's pretty. It's a mildly square jaw for a, a small, skinny female. <laughs> um, there's not much darkness going on to the hair or the complexion. So basically the fur on my head and the fur on my face is blonde. <laughs> and, and lips, nose, and eyes are going to be light colored. Um, it's the eyes that are the darkest part. So working on that smile with the jawline there, that's completely wrong. I look like an Among Us. So 
No. And eventually I get this right. Working on the, the collar and the neck area after this. And then that goofy sweater and pants. Basically the clothing. So the hair, I've darkened the hair too much. It needed to be much blonder. Um, so too heavy of a pencil line has, has ruined the fluffy lightness that the windswept hair has. Those windswept qualities. Um, <laughs> if I ever color this, I will definitely use just pure the yellow orange with a hint of red and, and get the hair strands going that way. There'd be no need for a pencil line underneath the hair. Um, if it were inked, I would barely put any ink lines in. It would be unattached gesture lines for the hair. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't connect any lines. I wouldn't make it dark or textured or heavy. Blonde hair needs to just absolutely flow in the wind. Um, getting the, the front bike light. And then I have this multi wrapped up, plastic wrapped uh, chain and lock hooked to the front. Yeah, I think I fixed the jaw here in just a second. Because I'm like, what's with that big square? Looks like I have a toothache. Like, like I just got back from the dentist, but I didn't. <laughs> Um, did a little finger correction. I always want hands and fingers to look good. There's too many cartoons out there throughout the the generations of artists that have made the doofiest looking hands and fingers. And that's one of the hardest things for people to learn because hands change so many directions. The wrist turns the hand in so many directions. And so the fingers could generally be just your little tube shapes that tend to taper at the end for a fingernail on one side and and the idea of that could be simplified but uh, to turn the wrist right and actually have the hand doing something that's believable is something a lot of people don't do so I've been making myself do this because it bothers me if it bothers me to look at hands on a cartoon and then I draw doofy hands, then that bothers me that I couldn't figure this out. So here I go. I'm working on it. And the more I work on these videos, the better I'll get. Um, yeah, that bicycle wheel's too short. So there's a little bit of fabric layering folds. Um... Clearly, my stretchy pants don't reach to the bottom of my ankles. And yes, that actually drove me nuts when I was little. Not having pants that reached my ankles. Then I add in bicycle pedals. Those were actually fun to draw. Um, it used to bother me. Whenever I draw bicycles, the pedals would be just these rectangular sticks. And eventually I learned... There's more shape to it than that, and that I could draw that shape. I have these little black dress shoes on and cutesy tootsy pink socks with ruffles on top. I absolutely hated those socks. I could have thrown those in the trash and not felt any remorse. My grandma would be mad. She's the one that picked out the socks and the shoes and the sweater. <laughs> I think the pants were just something I felt comfortable in. And um, yes, these feet get a little more fixed later. Um, most of that fabric fold of the sweater and pants is not visible at a distance in the, the photograph. Um, but if you're holding the photograph in your hand, you can see all these folds and then the light reflects off just a little bit and you can, you can see there's depth to the clothing folds. 
And um, I think I had trouble with this wheel. It, it was just, it should have been an easy, straightforward thing. You can barely see the spokes. You can see the metal pin and, and um, caps that keep the wheel within the green framework. But um, no, not this much. And eventually I fixed this also. Once I make it through the shape corrections of the sock, shoe, and a couple of the pedals for the bicycle, it, it starts to come together a little bit better. Um, the front wheel, obviously, is still wobbly, warped looking. But once both feet get matched up, I start to work on that wheel. Let me think. Nope, I went to the hair. <laughs> yep, fixing the hair. Gave myself quite the powerful chin there. I don't think I really have that when I was a little kid. Um, made the smile a little bit lighter. Uh, Celtics often have a very light colored smile. There's nothing uh, deep dark lined about it. It's just generally a couple of light pencil strokes. And uh, if I could have pinned that photo in one spot where I could have kept it within view on the camera, it would have helped a lot. Um, I can see it, obviously, while I'm working with the, the drawing, but nobody else can. So this is the wonky wheel turn I'm working with. The handlebars are straight, but my wheel is crooked. And the basket's on backwards. And then you can see that the plastic gear frame on the left top of the bike is what protects the, the, the kid's leg or foot from getting in the gears and the chain. So this, this is where I, I got a little confused. I think deep down I knew my, my wheel was crooked on my bike and I was just a kid. I didn't care. I was just riding my bike crooked <laughs> because I still loved riding my bike even if I couldn't figure out how to straighten the thing. My, my grandpa later showed me, he just put the wheel between his two shins or knees and then gave the handlebar a tweak and it straightened it right up. Um, obviously it, it needed to have the bolts tightened or whatever. And I moved on to the basket here, just general textures. Um, if I were to line ink that, I would skip some of the lines because it would be over textured in that one space and would draw too much attention. In the photograph, the basket is really light colored and almost transparent because it's plastic. So it wouldn't need a whole lot of heavy line work. I would only generally, uh line around the basket and just a few details inside. So I, I quickly sketched out the background, skipped the fence and kind of went with that. And now I'm going to put on the goofy sweater details. This is um, basic large print. Um, I guess they're just stamped onto the, the sweater. It didn't look like they were stitched fabric. It looked like just a big press machine put ink on the sweaters and made the pattern. So that, that was kind of easy. I didn't have to worry about a depth of texture. It's just right on the surface. It can go over the folds. It doesn't catch any shadows. Um, and that made it more simple. 
So, like I said, it's been uh, a few years since I drew life drawing. And, and this looks okay. <clears throat> Not the best, but it's okay. I look like a... I look like a kid, but I look like a hardcore trucker or motorcycle rider. Like the, the big chin, the scally forehead. And uh, yeah, that, that's what that looks like. So clearly I need to work on more uh, lighter lines, more graceful lines, um, get a, a, a better feel for drawing a youthful character. So that this, this was good practice though. I'm glad I, I'm glad I did this, even though it didn't turn out super great.